In this video, I'm going to show you Webflow's newest feature. It is called Variables. It is really going to help you set global styles across your site, anywhere from fonts, colors, and custom sizes. It is really cool. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the next new feature is called Variables. I briefly touched on it a little bit earlier in the overview. But if we go to the left-hand side to this sidebar, we have this new option called variables. If we click on that, you can see by default, we have a lot of colors here. So if you're on an existing Webflow site that has uh, global colors added to it, you should see a lot of these colors and the names that you have associated with them. But we can actually add quite a few more variables to this instead of just colors. If I click on new variable up in the top right corner, you can see we have the option to add colors, size, and fonts. So let me show you how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to create a custom font. So I'm gonna click on font and then it didn't do nothing. That's because it automatically adds it down here to the bottom of all your variables. It adds a default name and a default font. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize this. We are going to click on these settings near the name and we're just going to name this uh, second font we're going to click on save and then for the font you just click in here we have our font selector just like before and we are going to choose let's just choose impact so that we can see when we make a change so from there we have created a variable called second font and it is set to impact so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to change this header's font to the font we just selected. So in the style panel, I'm gonna scroll down and near font, instead of manually selecting a font here, you can see kind of like the CMS where you get these little blue, I mean little purple bubbles, there is a purple plus icon near the font. If we click on that, it shows all of our font variables. So right here we have our second font that we created. So I'm gonna select that. And you can see it perfectly changed the font. Now you might be like, well, why wouldn't we just set the impact font here? Well, if you are using this on various parts of your website for setting custom fonts here and there, you can actually globally change this font from the variables tab. So let me show you that real quick. So let's go back to the variables, go down to our font variable and let's change the font from impact to Times New Roman. Now, if we exit out of this, you can see the font has changed perfectly. So this is a really cool way to uh, globally update things like fonts through variables. Um, this is going to impact a lot how we build style guides in Webflow websites. So I would highly recommend you getting used to it and playing around with it. Now, the next thing is sizes. You can actually set custom sizes in uh, variables. So I'm going to click uh, add a new variable, and I'm this time going to add a size. So if we scroll down, you can see it automatically added that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to name this uh, container desktop. And then we're going to set the width to, let's say, a, uh, 60 REM. Hit enter. And now if we go back to our designer, we can actually use this variable anywhere we would use spacing or a size. So for example, we could, if we wanted to, we could set the font size to that new uh, variable we added. I wouldn't suggest it because it's massive, but we could do that as well or a more common use case probably for the variable I set is we could go to our container, container large, and we can set our variable container desktop to the max width, and there we go. What this is actually useful for is we can go back to our variables anytime. So let's go to our variables, and we can change the width. So instead of 60 REMs, let's change this to 40 and then go back and you can see the width has changed. Okay, the last part I wanna show you about variables is colors. By default, you may think colors is the exact same as it used to be, it's just in a different place where we just set our colors here instead of setting them over here, like when you would style an element, 
you could you could uh, manage your colors over here like usual but there's actually a really cool feature with the new colors variables that you might not have been aware of so right here if you were to click on the settings for any color so I'll do this screen right here you can see we're given a CSS variable we can actually use this variable in custom code to use this color that we have set which means if we are using this color in custom code at any time down the road if we were to change this color on this variable it would change the color in the custom code because we are using a variable instead of an actual color hex code so for example I'm going to copy that and let's just quickly add uh, some tech some custom code so I quick added some custom code here just to create a simple box with a background color you can see it is that green that we selected but if I click in here I'll kind of show you what we did so we just have some styling here to set the width and the height what I want to bring your attention to is the background color so you can see we set the background color in CSS and instead of entering a hex code for the color we entered this variable var in parentheses dash dash primary now if we were to go back to our variables and we were to change the color for this variable so let's say we'll just change it to like a blue color click out of this and then go back to the home page you can see it changed the color of this background even though this was used even though this was a custom code element because we are using that variable so this is super super helpful um, additionally it's also super helpful because it actually just gives you the variable right here you click on the settings and you can just copy the variable right here it is really really easy it's going to help quite a bit so that was a quick overview of webflow's new variables feature if you need help with that or you need any other help we actually offer unlimited webflow design and development at a flat monthly rate so there is actually a, a special offer for you specifically the viewer we offer this on youtube and pretty much nowhere else there's a link to that in the description below